If you're someone who was following the bad advice of copying the blog post and generating the blog post from AI tools and then adding to your website, and in the end you get no traffic. Traffic is very far. These blog posts don't get indexed on Google. Even by anyhow, these blog posts get indexed on Google, they get the index overnight. And all the traffic gone overnight because there are a lot of bad advice around AI these days and you're overusing the AI. And if you're somebody who already wasted so much of time and got no results, now this is the time to learn the skill how to write a blog post. Because writing blog posts might sound complicated, but actually let me promise you, it is not that complicated. You can write very simple blog posts and get ranked and make a very high quality blog. In this beginner's video, I'll teach you skill how to write a blog post and after watching this video, you will have no problem writing blog posts. It will be a piece of cake for you. So this video will be divided into two parts. First part will be how to write a blog post. Second part, the tools you will need. We'll talk about AI tools, we'll talk about other tools which will make writing blog posts a piece of a cake. Without any delay, let's go to my screen. And let's start from the basics. So broadly, there are two kinds of blog posts. First is informational, which educate or inform readers about a topic. Second is transactional, which persuade readers to take any action. Second one are targeting the people who want to buy something or who are on edge to buy something. Mainly these blog posts, they are more about a product or a service. Information is more about educating people about something. So let's take some examples. So you can see there are some informational blog posts here. So for, they can be beginner focused, like what is blockchain, simple explanation understand different kind of coffee beans for the people who doesn't know anything, very beginner focus. Then you have how to guides, how to meditate for beginners, how to start a blog, how to swim, how to buy stocks or broadly any kind of how to post. Then we list based blog posts like 10 benefits of drinking green tea every day, seven signs you're burned out at work, top 10 destination to travel in Thailand, this kind of blog post. What is or what is the difference? For example, what is AI? What is SEO? Why is important? What is the difference between on-page SEO and off-page SEO, this kind of blog post. And then problem solving blog posts, struggling with procrastination, feeling anxious. Normally there are blog posts which suggest a solution to a specific problem. And you don't need to learn all this stuff, just listen this because in the end all it will make sense and you will say okay this was so easy I never noticed this kind of stuff. In the end you will be surprised just by listening to this will make the process of writing blog posts super easy. Now let's example of transactional blog post titles. For example review focus. So these blog posts focus around some products, around some services. For example, you can any product like iPhone 16 review, is it worth the hype about anything else? The best wireless headphones of 2025. Then a comparison like product A versus B, Apple versus Samsung, which one is right for you, WordPress versus Wix, best of like best CRM, best Firefox laptops, best SEO plugin, best hosting, these kind of blog posts. Discount offer, get some discount off this product or limited time or exclusive deal. You can also use this template I'm showing on the screen to create, to formulate the title of your blog post. And then again, problem focus lead to a solution, which is often a product. For example, struggling with back pain, discuss the best ergonomic chairs, and then you add the ergonomic chair. And then near label cloud storage, check out our recommendation, then you suggest something. And what is the purpose of showing you all these blog post titles? Purpose is because they all have very similar structure. What is the structure of blog post? You can see, first thing is title, which captures attention. Second introduction, introduce the topic. Body is the main content, conclusion, and then CTA. For example, CTA in information blog post could be to read another article, in transactional blog post to buy that product. So this will stay same in all the blog posts. And guys, you don't need to write the comparative blog post. You just follow this thing. I'll show you the different structure, how you can do this thing. So all these things still remain same. Only one thing which change in every blog post is body. Rest everything remains same and also in body I will give you the standard procedure how to write different blog posts of different kinds. Okay, if that sounds good just think about this thing. There are five important things in any blog post, title, introduction, body, conclusion and then CTA. That's all you have to keep in the mind by writing blog posts. And can you notice the one thing we did not add a table of contents here. I have not added FEP section here. Later in the tutorial I will explain you why I have not added those things. Of course those things are helpful but there is a purpose why I have not added the table of contents and the FAQ section. We're going to talk about it later. So we understood the common elements of blog post is title, introduction, body, conclusion and CTA. Now let's take some example. If you want to write a blog post which is how to blog post, for example, how to brew the perfect cup of coffee at home. What we'll do? We'll write the title first, which is this one, then introduction, then body. And body, what we'll write? List of ingredients, equipment. And then step by step introduction, step one with text or images if applied, step two, step three video which is optional then conclusion then summary and you will say this is really easy blog post and i will say yes it's a really easy blog post and that's what we want this is 2025 google wants you to create the content for human mix not for search engine you don't need to write 
एफ यू के सेक्शन टेबल ऑफ कॉन्टेंट टू हेल्प गूगल टू अंडरस्टैंड ब्लॉग पोस्ट नो यू नीट राइट द कॉन्टेंट विच इज इजी फॉर पीपल सो पीपल कैन रीड दैट कॉन्टेंट वंस गूगल शोज योर ब्लॉग पोस्ट टू सम पीपल दे लाइक इट द रीड इट ऑल दे माइड बी शेयरिंग दिस ब्लॉग पोस्ट गूगल नोज एवरीथिंग देन गूगल से ओके दिस ब्लॉग पोस्ट सो इजी पीपल लाइकिंग इट गूगल इज स्टार्ट शोइंग ब्लॉक पोस्ट टू मोर पीपल एंड देन योर ब्लॉक पोस्ट विल रैंक सो राइट द इजी कॉन्टेंट लेट मी शो एग्जाम्पल एंड प्रूव इट टू यू so for example how to brew the perfect cup of coffee at home guys search this so this is the first link how to brew a perfect cup of coffee domain authority 29 not really high domain authority 29 if you look at this blog post here this is a blog from last year but because this is matching the title that's why i think it's ranking number 1 on the results simple blog post here picture of the author who wrote this blog post he write blog post like some introduction quest and then one picture and then step 1 use fresh beans step 2 grind your beans immediately before you brew step 3 use the right water temperature 4 5 6 that's it no faqs no table of content no complete stuff and this was ranking on number 1 even after the seo difficulty 58 which is like moderate seo difficulty however this website does not get so many views but let's take another example let's take example atlas coffee club this is 54 domain authority and lot of backlinks and let's see traffic is 40000 per month If you go to this blog post, you can see how to make perfect cup of coffee. Nice, sweet image, very clean design, introduction, and then finding the right roast, and then getting the right water quality and temperature. Get on grind on big headings and clear instruction, and then how to brew a cup of paradise using a French press. And then you have eight steps, and then conclusion. That's it. Let's take example of this blog post at 19. You can see it's ranking higher than the website. It's at domain authority 81 with like so many backlinks. If you open the blog post, guide to best way to make coffee at home. Super clean design. The best way to make coffee at home, definite guide. Five main brewing method. They explain about the method. What are the brewing methods? Then part one, what equipment required, and then scales, pouring kettle, filter paper, coffee, and then part two, brewing methods. They explain the brewing method, and they explain five different methods. That's it. They do not even write the conclusion. And here you can see you have some websites which are having millions of traffic per month, like ten million, one million. and this keyword is coming here don't take everything literally what i am saying but just following this basic instruction you can write a real nice blog post let's take another example before we move forward i would highly recommend you if you can like the video subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it. if you want to learn these kind of topics there are more video coming like this if the first time to the channel i create all these topics which are really useful for your blogging journey website development digital marketing seo google search consoles i create videos on all these useful topics so if you want to stay updated don't forget to subscribe to the channel okay let's move forward Let's take another example. Ten best photo editing apps for iPhone 2025. Same title, introduction, body. App one. What is, for example, let's say Snapseed. You need to write the app image or screenshot. Here, the description about it. What are the pros? What are the cons? What is the price? Downloading. That's it. You need to repeat this ten times. Or depends on the topic. For example, five top destinations. Then you need to write the same stuff here and add the relevant information. Let's take another example. For example, a review blog post. You write something like this. X Y Z Blender review is it worth the hype? Title, introduction we already know. Body which will only change because title, introduction, conclusion, call to action they are same, but only body has biggest change. So overview of the product, you can highlight the key feature and specification, and then detail evaluation. What are the pros and cons? Performance feature is it used? Not to write like complete big big paragraph. Write small paragraph by yourself. They are human oriented, not the SEO oriented. And then comparison to alternatives, but optional but valuable. If you write some alternative for this product, that's real nice. Then final verdict or summary. You can summarize the recommendation and give it an overall rating four out of five. If you can add the schema of rating, this real nice, which is shown the search result. If you cannot, don't worry about it. Just give the manual rating like this. In the end, call to action. You can add affiliate links, guys. Please do not miss the chance to add your affiliate links. I know a lot of people they are always looking for Google AdSense approval. No, Google AdSense approval is the worst way to make money on a blog. The best way to make money is using affiliate links. You can generate so much of income. You have good traffic on your website, and most of the time, people who are professional blogger they make much more money from affiliate income than from Google AdSense income. In description, I add, add the link to download all these templates of writing blog posts. Then we comparison blog posts. For example, Shopify versus Wix. Which website builder write for you? Title, introduction, body. Then overview of Shopify, overview of Wix, comparison table. You can write pricing, copy, ease of use, support, all these things. Then your detail evaluation, pros and cons, performance, features, ease of use, and then comparison to alternative, the same thing, and then final verdict summarized. Very similar. You see, everything is very similar. You just need to create a basic structure, and you can write post by yourself. You can take help of AI, which will explain you in the second part of the video how you can do that, how you can take help of ChatGPT or DeepSeek or Gemini to write all these blog posts. We are not going to copy paste from the AI, but we are going to take the right help. We are not overusing the AI. So please watch the video carefully. This video is really helpful for you.
And one last example I'll give you for the people who want to write in the finance. First, I recommend you if you do not have knowledge about finance niche, do not write about finance niche. If you want to write finance, it's a very competitive niche. Try to learn about it and then slowly by slowly as you are gaining the knowledge, start writing about it. If you are somebody who is new in the finance niche, you can start getting knowledge but don't expect too much traffic on your blog. Start writing about it and you know a lot of things when you do research for your blog post. So this kind of blog post, you could write title introduction, overview stock A, stock B, key highlights. Then financial metrics, side by side, you can make a table about it like ticker symbol, stock A, stock B, what is the market cap, what is PE ratio, what is earning per share, growth opportunity or risk, similar stock, what other similar stocks are available, final verdict and overall rating and then CTA, even to download a crypto app or the investment app or anything. And these templates created specifically for beginners to write a decent blog post, which will make your pursuit really easy. You can download this from my website or if you're a channel member, you can download it for completely free. Not just this, a lot of members only streams are coming on the channel, a lot of more user content is coming, which is members only. So if you really want to invest in your skills, I highly recommend you consider joining the channel and become a member. A lot of more premium tutorials and members only stream are coming on the channel. Okay, now let's talk about tools which you need to write this blog post. So first tool will be AI tools, which will chat GB, Deep Seek, Gemini. If you're a beginner, don't worry too much about it. All they work really fine. You can do a lot of stuff using this AI tools. For example, like titles, you can go to Deep Seek and say, give me alternate click query titles. Whatever title came to your mind, how to brew a perfect coffee cup at home. And then it will give you different titles. For example, this one is real nice. The lazy coffee lover's guide to perfect morning cup or the zero dollar upgrade inside tricks for richer, bolder home brew. Or if you write anything, for example, five ingredients for coffee heaven. <laughs> Hint, it's not just the beans. It's a very intriguing blog post. I really like it. If DeepSeek is not working because the servers are always overloaded, so you can use ChatGPT. Give me alternate titles, click query titles and enter it and you will find real nice titles. So this is how you can use AI tool to first to generate titles. Okay, now let's go to the second part. Let me tell you which are the best tools for writing the blog post. What tools we're using which will make writing blog post piece of cake, even for beginners. So first of all, you can have ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Gemini, the real nice tool for doing a lot of stuff. For example, if you want to write the title of a blog post, you can go to DeepSeek and say, give me alternate click away titles and then how to write a brew perfect cup of coffee at home. And then it will use so many nice titles. For example, this one, the lazy coffee lover's guide to perfect morning cup or the zero dollar upgrade inside thick for richer, bolder and home brew. Or for this one, five ingredient for coffee heaven. Hint, it's not just the beans. So this is real nice title. If DeepSeek is not working, a lot of time the server is overloaded, you can also use ChatGPT. It is equally nice for writing blog posts, real nice thing. Because we are not going to generate all the content. We are using the AI mindfully. We are not overusing AI. <laughs> Same thing, you can ask the ChatGPT, give me the alternate title. It gives so many nice titles. For example, your coffee sucks, here's how to fix it. So all the people who are not able to make good coffee or who want to know how to make good coffee, they will be clicking on this blog post. This is how we can use these kind of tools to create the titles. Or for example, list of ingredients, you can ask ChatGPT about the list of ingredients and then you can write some detail about it. So yes, these AI tools are really important and you can use to a lot of stuff. For example, you can take the steps, which steps are required there, you can add those, but do not copy paste stuff, just add the headings. And you can do a lot of other stuff, a video will come really soon with real time. I'll optimize a blog post, I create complete blog post using this AI DeepSeek tool. This video is really important for you to know the basics of blog post. But yes, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, a lot of nice videos are coming on this channel. Okay, now let's talk about writing editing tools. So first you have Google Docs, you can draft the rough draft of your blog post on Google Docs. You can do collaborative editing. If you have a co-founder or if you have a partner with who you want to start a blog, it's really, really nice way guys. You can encourage each other and it's a really nice way to be more actionable on your blog. Guys, I recommend everybody with your friends, with your girlfriend, boyfriend, with your parents, with anybody you can start a blog. It's a real nice way and Google Docs will help you to do that. Then you have a writer which is real nice to write blog posts. There's some AI feature to write the blog post. Do not use those features, but that's a real nice way. Then you have Grammarly to correct the grammar, tone adjustment and clarity improvement. Real nice tool. Everybody should use it, which will really make your blog post look professional. Then you have Essential SEO tool. So you have Google Keyword Planner. The video is coming soon on the channel about this tool. Then you answer the public. I think this is a free tool by Neil Patel. There's few searches are free. Then you have Rank Math, your SEO, ASU plugin, which is really important for WordPress website. A detailed video coming soon on all these topics. Then you visual creation canvas free tool and splash pixel. You can create the images pixeler. You can find all these two links in description. Make sure guys, you check out links in description. And then your research tools. You can use Google Trends, Reddit, Quora, BuzzSumo. I have not used Basumo, but when I was doing research about the topic, I found this. So please try to check this tool. They're really nice to do research. The video is coming very soon. How to do research. And in then your trailer notion, which are real nice to keep track of your blog post, guys. It's really important that you go to the next step. Do not write 
blog post boring way use trello notion i use trello notion to almost do everything in my life even my personal projects my daily reminder my other stuff if i have a personal goal in my life i also use trello notion for to do all the stuff and guys this tool i'm using called keyword everywhere this is real nice tool you can see it show me all the details about all these websites it tell me everything the traffic on the websites it tell me the how many domains are linked to them how many bank accounts the website got lot of nice thing i'll add the link to this tool also in the description so you can so when you do your keywords research you can you can use this tool it's really really nice tool don't forget to download the complete template to write any kind of blog post without any issue and also cheat sheet of seo that what you need to check after writing a blog post and if you're new to the channel don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel i really really appreciate that and we want to do a complete seo website check this video on screen